know, that, that, that's silly for them because the, the history of the world, and, and of course, you know, there, there are many, many groups in America now trying to return America uh, to the the Mexican uh, pre-history days of the you know the Aztecs the Incas uh, and, and horrible uh, I, I call it witchcraft basically human sacrifice again uh, at the pyramids uh, down in Mexico and, and Mesoamerica so uh, this is this is very very strong people believe that this is a fringe group but in actual actuality Wicca. Uh, and all of this Santeria stuff, this is huge. This is one of the fastest-growing religions in the world. And it all works together. And they will even uh, practice the, to, to, to deceive Christians. They, they'll try to bring, for example, one of the, uh, one of the Santeria goddesses uh, is, is called, uh, Osh, uh, let's see, I think she's called, yeah, Bamaya, Bamaya, which really is Mother Mary of Christianity with all the trappings, though, of these demon gods of Santeria. So this is how they try to even, you know, uh, pollute uh, uh, Christianity. Uh, and this is well known uh, as well. But I want to emphasize that, that many blacks are falling for this today because originally this came from Africa, from the Congo, from West Africa, from Nigeria. So we have a huge contingent of these foreigners. I mean, this is the ultimate, Alex, in multiculturalism, isn't it? Well, it certainly is, Tex. And I'm trying to pull Webster Tarpley up live on air right now because I wanted to get him, because the show's almost over here, I wanted to get him to comment on what is in his book, page 8, about Obama himself is much more likely a Satanist of the... Uh, apostate Jeremiah Wright uh, Liberation Theology School, a Christian heresy which places racial hatred instead of charity at the center of its edifice of faith. Wright is ultimately the high priest of a death cult. Obama is more precisely an uh, existentialist fascist made up of equal parts, 1969 Weatherman race war theory, and uh, and it just goes on to then talk about the bizarre voodoo stuff basically going on there at Wright's church. So I just thought this was interesting that Tarpley wrote this book a year ago that we carry at Infowars.com, and here it is manifesting in the news. Uh, it's just incredible. Uh, please continue with your comments. Well, I, I think that is interesting, those comments by Tarpley. I think he had quite a bit of uh, insight. Now, here's another little thread that we can go by. Abner Mikva, who is a well-known Jewish lawyer, uh, out of Chicago, he was White House counsel now. I mean, here's a powerful man, White House counsel, the top lawyer for Bill Clinton during the Monica Lewinsky hearings. But he was a big, and he is a big mentor and supporter for many years of Barack Obama. He says, and this is in the Chicago Tribune. In fact, it's chicagotribune.com. So we're talking about Chicago's biggest newspaper. And there was an article entitled Barack Obama... America's first Jewish president. And it was because of his support from these millionaire and billionaire Jews from Chicago and overseas. But Mikva, who was one of the supporters, said that as a young man, an, an aspiring young politician, young Barack Obama came to him. Now remember, this is in the Chicago Tribune, and said, how can I best get ahead in politics? And Mikva, who is Jewish, said to him, the first thing you need to do, Barack, is to go and join a powerful black church. You need a power base, and the way to do it is to go join a big black church. Okay, Thus, Tex, Tex, we're, we've been taking the final segment here. The show is almost over. We're going to have to have a part two on this because it's so important. Just for a minute and a half, Tarpley, because the show is about to end here. Uh, in about 10 minutes. Webster Tarpley, I, I just am always amazed how much you wrote or talked about ends up coming true or was correct. Text the same thing. Your unauthorized biography that people should get, page 8, you call him a Satanist, you get into weird stuff in your book on Halloween, voodoo stuff going on at Jeremiah Wright's uh, uh, church, and now it's mainstream news. They're doing voodoo rituals in the White House. Obama comments on... Uh, 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 Tarpley comments on this Obama situation. Well, what I was trying to get at in that book, uh, Barack H. Obama, The Unauthorized Biography, 
is simply the question of, is it possible to come to Christ through Jeremiah Wright? Because that is what Obama asserts. He said, I came to Jesus Christ through Jeremiah Wright. Now, I would argue this is not uh, easy to do, because if you look at Jeremiah Wright, this is essentially a minority, radical uh, school of theology. It's the so-called black liberation theology set up by a fellow called James Cone and some others, which essentially says that uh, the entire Christian story is limited to one ethnic group. And uh, if you're not, then... uh, if you're not part of that ethnic group, then you're then you're not part of the. Uh, so it's a fundamental attack on Christianity. We have to, we're almost out of time here. Regardless, specifically, uh, you talk about him though uh, being more like a Satanist and the weird stuff at the church. Is the church, from your research, a front for voodoo or Santeria? No, I don't know anything about that part. But what you see from Cohn is he says that the the uh, the purpose, the task of God and of Christ, is to assist in the suppression of the white population of the world, which I I think makes it, therefore, into a religion of hatred, in effect. And I believe this is all all subsidized by the foundations. This is a theology of counterinsurgency. The goal is to pit white against black and, indeed, other groups in this country, all against themselves, so the bankers in Wall Street never experience a direct challenge to their rule. And I think that's why the foundations pay right and pay... uh, uh, people like Dwight Hopkins in that church, and indeed Cohn, right? These are, so it's all balkanization. All it's all balkanization. Webster, thanks for popping in with us. I just wanted to get you to comment on your book. Anytime, thank you. Alex. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, going back to text, we've got a few minutes on the other side, but basically he's saying the same thing you're saying, text, from a completely different political angle. Oh, oh absolutely. So we can't say that, that the...